Hello and welcome. Uh, today I've got a Bosch battery yet again. This one needs cell replacement, so that's what this video is totally about. Just out and out cell replacement. I've got the two cells here. I've got the battery and I've identified the two defective cells. That's what this video is going to be about. The last video I did on the series of Bosch batteries that I got for repair, I did a full explanation of cell reclamation. I took these out of a Metabo battery. These two and four more that I replaced onto this. So I did a whole detailed video on how I reclaimed the cells, how I knew where the cells were defective, how I brought the cells up to the voltage that they were required with this VC8 plus XTAR charger. But this video is just going to be about replacing these cells. I have brought these cells up fully to the full voltage because the four banks of cells here will be full voltage based on what's coming out the top. So without further ado, I'm going to just get this open and get on with a bit of cell replacement. Right, so with this open, as you can see we've earlier identified these are the two cells that have to be withdrawn from the pack and replaced. So I'm going to just do a voltage check quickly to show you what we're doing here. So I'll just do a quick volt check down the pack to show you where we're at with these cells. These four good banks of cells are fully charged which is 4.16 and they're fully balanced with each other so in order to match them cells what I did is I fully charged these two reclaimed ones here and I'll show you the voltage of them now and here we are 4.19 near enough 4.18 so they're within Two hundredths of a of a volt. That's acceptable difference. Um, they are perfect. They're a different brand, and some people may get on me in the comments. But that's that's your prerogative. If you want to do that, I don't really mind. Anyhow, the first thing we've got to do is remove these two bad cells, and as you can see, the spot welds have let go here already somewhat so it's not yeah it's not that hard a job on this side the spot welds are ready decided it didn't want to be attached to the cell anymore in these series of batteries I've noticed that quite a lot in the Bosch it can happen in all batteries to be honest it can happen in DeWalt and Milwaukee and the whole lot of them but I just expect I'd somehow expected more from Bosch. I don't know why, but um, they didn't didn't uh, they did disappoint. Let's say it like that. They did disappoint. But anyway, Are 
these cells are going to be uh, hard to get out maybe there's one out anyway <coughs> they do swell sometimes when they get overheated and makes them difficult to get out it's going now you see the what would you call it textured finish in that not supposed to have a textured finish it's supposed to be smooth that's the heat and that's what caused them to be tight there that'll be all right we'll just get the other ones now we're going to put in i'm going to clean up the the ends on them that these ends aren't too bad to see if i can make them easier to spot well done they get flatter the surface and the cleaner the surface the better well we'll get so it has to be done Not bad. Let's hope I've done a better job than Bosch uh, has done this battery. We'll see.
Jo. Coming this off to avoid um, cross connection later. More little bit needs to come off. That's it. I'm sure that's connected. So before we put this together, I'm maybe do a voltage check out the top. So if everything's right within this battery now, with the fully charged cells that are in it, it should be well over 20 volts, or even 20.2, 20.3, 20.83, so it's really up there. It's really up there, it's real maximum voltage there. Uh, that will be a good job. So what I've got to do is put it together and try it on the charger. It'll show fully charged, so maybe not a while lot of point in that, but we'll, we'll complete the process anyway. Put it in the charger anyway. It's a show fully charged, so it might need flash at all. Well, it's flashing, it's just analyzing the battery, I suppose. Yep, it's realized that the battery is full, no more voltage required. The story is over, battery's fully charged. So that's how you do cell replacement in the battery. I'm calling that fixed. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my other videos.